Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we did a quick overview on how custom editors work by creating a line in the scene view. That should be all the tools we need to create a busy curve. But before jumping into the integration, I suggest you watch my video explaining the basics of busy curves. It's a very short video and should set you ready for this tutorial. I put a link in the video description. Great, now let's start our busy curve integration. We can go and delete the line, because we won't be needing it. Create an empty game object. Name it curve. Reset the transform. We create a new script. Name it curve. Add the curve script as a component to the curve object. We open the curve script. We will be working with the cubic BZ curve. As you may know, it's defined by four points. We create an array of vector tree. We call it points. It will contain the control points of the curve. We add the cubic busy curve method. It is public and returns a vector tree, which is a point along the curve at the moment t. Here is the cubic busy curve function. We should make sure t is always between 0 and 1. We use the clamp method. We set a to 1 minus t. We go and start copying the cubic busy function. This should be all we need for this script. Now we should start the custom editor integration. We create an editor script. We call it curve editor. This should be similar to what we did with line editor. It inherits from editor. We use the namespace unity editor. Attach the editor to the component curve. Inside the onscene GUI method, we get the curve object.
we create the position handles for the control points. We will implement a method for that. We call it create position handle. It takes the curve as an argument. We loop through the curve's points. Don't forget to convert the points from local space to world space. Begin the GUI change check. Get the new position. We will not be rotating the point, so we set the rotation to the identity. And the change check. We set the curves control points to the new ones and don't forget to convert them back to local space. Record the change. Nice! The position handles for our points are shown in the scene view. We can move them. And we can undo the change. Great, now let's draw the curve. We will add a new method. We will call it draw curve. It takes a curve as an argument. Set the color of the curve. We get the starting point. Now, for every step, we get a point using the Bezier equation. Then draw a line between that point and the previous one.
we set the steps to 20. The more steps, the more smoother the curve will be. We start from 1, because the first step is P0, which is the starting control point of the curve. We get T by dividing I by the steps. We get the next point using the busy function. Then, we draw a line between P0 and P1. P1 will be the starting point of the line in the next iteration, so we set P0 to P1. Great, now we have a cubic busy curve that we can control in the scene view. But still, this isn't enough to build the full path. I will show you how to create a path in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.